Metamorphosis. Sounds familiar? All livings undergone growth and changes through their life as what life cycle is all about. In the signs of life, the striking change of form or structure in an individual after hatching or birth is what we call metamorphosis. So in this video, we will distinguish between complete and incomplete metamorphosis. Some animals don't look like their parents as they grow. They completely change. This is called metamorphosis. These physical changes as well as those involving growth and differentiation are accompanied by alterations of the organism's physiology, biochemistry, and behavior. Insects and amphibians are animals that go through metamorphosis. Well, among the most dramatic and thoroughly studied examples of metamorphosis are the insects. Why? Because development is not the same in all insects, and it is convenient to group them into major categories according to the pattern of structural changes. Number 1. Complete Metamorphosis During a complete metamorphosis, an animal will go through four different stages in its life cycle. Example, a ladybug. The first stage is eggs. An adult ladybug lays eggs on a leaf. Then, followed by the second stage, larva. A ladybug larva hatches from each egg. The larva looks different from the adult. Then, the third stage is what we call pupa. The larva becomes a pupa. During this stage, it doesn't move as it slowly changes to an adult. And finally, the grown adult. The adult ladybug emerges from the pupa. The adult can fly and reproduce. And that commence our life cycle of a ladybug. To recapitulate the four stages, you have to remember the eggs, larva, pupa, and adult. Number 2. Incomplete metamorphosis. Some insects like dragonflies, grasshoppers, and cicadas go through an incomplete metamorphosis. After hatching, these insects will look like their parents. They will go through changes as they grow, but the way that they look will not change much. Why? Because the development during an incomplete metamorphosis, an animal will go through three different stages in its life cycle. Example, the grasshopper. The first stage started with the egg. An adult grasshopper lays its eggs, then followed by the stage 2, which we called nymphs. Young grasshoppers called nymphs hatch from eggs. They look like adult grasshoppers, except they don't have wings yet. As the nymph grows, it sheds its skin several times before it becomes a fully grown adult. Each time, its wings become bigger. Then, finally, the final shedding produces an adult grasshopper. To recap the three stages, these are egg, nymph, and adult. So, if you learn new things today, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the bell button to notify you in my upcoming videos. Have a great day!